What is going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks to you, and welcome back to some more Pixelmon! How are you doing everyone? Are you good? Yes! Welcome back! So you join me in the wilderness. Yeah, I'm just on like a little bit of a quick scavenger hunt here. So if you remember back to last episode, we got started on the amazing uh, Blockit Village, which, uh, you know, it, it's kind of looking pretty cool already. It's just some basic huts. Um, so I want to continue with that a little bit today, um, but I'm sure you remember we're actually missing a couple of woods, which were the 1.7 woods, which unfortunately are not on our island. So I spoke with Justin and I was like, hey, have you seen these woods? And he was like, nah, man. He doesn't even sound like that. He was like, no, <laughs> I haven't seen these woods. Um, so he said, like, yeah, go and have a look for them. And if I can't find them, then he's going to come and help me. Uh, but I just thought we'd actually have a little look on our own. And uh, the news is good. So we found one of them. Hopefully we can find both. And I've actually found it over in this direction. Da da da! Oh yeah, the roof forest. Check that out. So we can get our like super dark oak wood here. Uh, I actually saw these these mushrooms. I saw these mushies, and I was like, hmm, what kind of structure is this? Yeah, it just turns out it's a mushroom. Uh, but it's good because uh, we have that wood. So we're gonna go and grab that in just a second. And then hopefully what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to find some kind of savanna biome. Uh, I might need Justin's help with that maybe. So uh, we might have to do that next time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, I'm going to... Oh, check these out. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I've actually caught the uh, the little babby version of that already. The swablu, which I just... Oh, oh snap. <laughs> Look at you. Grow it up. Oh, you're amazing. I actually... See, this is the... Um, this is the Birchwood Forest. Oh, you look amazing. Check that out. Um, so I actually really, really want to catch a Turtwig whilst I'm here, uh, which was another reason for me kind of hanging around this area. Uh, so the Altaria looks amazing. I've actually caught the, uh, the Swablu, and I've caught a couple of those, so we're going to check those out when we get back to the base, and uh, yeah, we're probably going to evolve that, because with the new animations, they look amazing, and I also really, really want to try... Is that an Eevee down there? Ooh, I could always do with more Eevees. Uh, but yeah, I've caught one of these little sausages. They look so cool. And uh, yeah, before I go, I want to try and catch a Turtwig, so fingers crossed on that, I want to go and try and find a Savannah biome, and I also want to grab myself a little bit more clay. Um, so that's kind of the plan. It's just going to be like a quick little sort of five minute forage uh, video time. I'm probably going to spend a little bit more time around here. But yeah, the whole idea for me coming out here was basically what I can do is I can grab a load of wood and as well as that, I can bring back some saplings and then the other guys on the island can use them if they want to. Um, because yeah, we don't have this wood on the island and I think it's kind of cool to have it, especially because I think Justin is doing a bit of a build project. I think Dan is doing one as well, actually. Um, so having these extra woods will be good. So, oh, this axe is beautiful. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, yeah. Can we can we just punch stuff? Oh, it's going to take forever for these. Oh, yeah. Straight away. Nice. So we're going to grab a few saplings, and uh, I'm going to have a little hunt around here, basically, for uh, the, the thingamajigger I want. Oh, man, I wish I had. I think you can, if you've got a silk touch something, you can break i can't remember if that's true or not you know the mushrooms i think i can't actually remember that but it doesn't really we don't really need mushroom blocks to be honest with you they do look pretty awesome though they do look good yeah that's just gonna break them um but yeah okay so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have a little bit of a forage and fingers crossed when we meet again we shall be uh with a savannah biome so uh yeah leave it with me and i'll see what i can do Okay, so welcome back. Yeah, I'm not at Savannah yet. I'm still here in this birchwood forest. Uh, yeah, we found something. Check this out. So I've been killing a few bosses. The thing is, they've not been like very high level ones, but I've actually got some awesome loot out of them, which we'll show you in a second. But I was looking at this tree and I was thinking, what the heck is this tree? This is not a tree of the real. And uh, yeah, it turns out it's got a little door in it. Dun, 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 master ball. Uh, so I think this is like the top tier of poker loot. So I'm really hoping for some cool stuff in this. Are you ready? I've never opened one of these before, so I'm quite excited. Three, two, one, and... Oh, a fight? There's a passage here. What? Is it a trap? It's, it's not... This is clearly not a passage. <laughs> oh, that's cool, though. Okay, so we got a firestone from that. I just thought I'd show you uh, one of those in case... I don't really want normal oak wood. Um, but yeah, this is kind of some of the bits and pieces that I've got. So I have finally attained the Destiny Knot, which is one of them which I I swear, I swear to you I've had this before and I lost it, uh, which was really annoying. Um, I haven't found the Turtwig just yet. This is kind of the thing that I've been looking around for. Man, they look so cool. I'm trying to catch... A f is that like a massive growth one? Oh, that thing is huge. I want you... I want you in my party. Come here. Yes, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to catch this. Um, I've completely forgot to show you what loot I've got. Uh, yeah, I've got like three of these, four of these maybe, or something Magical. like that. Uh, because I really want to get like a really good one. So it'll be massive and it'll look awesome. And I can ride. I think I can ride this. 
Let's, uh, ooh, as well as that, I was reading through the comments last episode, uh, really, really useful information and stuff about the uh, the village that we're building, so thank you much for all of your input and stuff, and uh, yeah, quite a few people said that the park ball is basically exactly the same as a master ball, so that's awesome, I had no idea, uh, so that's really, really cool, I think we found that from a boss last episode, right? I think. Um, but yeah, that was kind of awesome. So we've got uh, quite a few of the powerful balls if we do run into any legendaries. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to catch this dude. And uh, yeah, what we're going to do is I will meet you in the uh, the other biome. Hopefully we can find a savannah biome or if we find a turtwig in here. I'll show you the items in a second. Uh, but yeah, hey, we got it. Uh, yeah, we might as well just do it now. Why the heck not? We've got all the time in the world. So uh, yeah, check some of the items out. I've got myself some calcium, which is awesome. I think this is a... A stat booster? I've never seen the calcium, the zincs, and all that stuff um, on the main island. I think this came in poker loot, um, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's a boss drop or not. I wish it was, because that would mean we could get a few more of them. But, uh, yes, yeah, so we got some calcium. we got destiny knot. we got this gandalon berry. Never heard of that, which is a new berry. we got the tomato berry. Never heard of that, which is new. Oh, we've got two destiny knots. No way. Why did we pick... Oh, okay, we must have picked up two. Happy days. Uh, and we also have some lax incense here and some various other bits and pieces. There's some nice little drops there. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's carry on with this quest to find the elusive turtwig and hopefully the savannah biome. And look what we have here. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of just giving my, my Charizard a bit of a hug. But you may see in the top left-hand corner, we have finally found a level 10 turtwig. So we're definitely going to catch this bad boy. Um, yeah, I've been finding a lot of other stuff just just not this guy. So I'm really, really happy to try and finally find him. You know, the, the, the ideal situation here would be... Uh, oh, there it is. Hello. Can you see him? Can, can, can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in. Like this. There he is. He's there on the screen. Um, but uh, yeah, ideally... I would like to try and get one of these which has a uh, like a gigantic growth, just like a huge growth or whatever, you know, a, a big boy. But um, yeah, we'll just take what we've got for now. I think it's it's pretty good to try and find one of these. They're, they're pretty hard to find. They're, I think they're listed as a rare. Um, but it's one of those things with Pixmon. You'll either find loads of them or you'll never find any of them. Uh, so really happy to try and find one. So I'm going to catch this guy and uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back when we've found something else. Hopefully a Savannah by him, but you yeah, never know. We'll see what we can do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally found what we are looking for. It is over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's got oh man, this has taken me a while of just walking. And, oh, yes, I'm so, so happy. So it's actually, we came from this direction over there. And I basically just followed in a straight line as far, what the heck is that? Wow, look at that thing. <gasps> I'm thinking this is probably one of the hallowed gem temples. Let's go and check this out quickly, and then let's go and check out the savannah biome. So the main reason why I really, really wanted to try and find savannah is, um, well, the first thing is obviously I really need the wood, but secondly, I actually did a mod video really, I think it might have actually been the next, the last video that was up on the channel, which was this really cool, like, um, uh, roulette ores. Ooh, man, the, the sandstone looks good. And this is the clay. The clay looks awesome. All right, what's this? Ta-da! Hello, gem. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I actually did uh, a spotlight recently, which was the, the roulette one, uh, the roulette ores, uh, lucky block style challenge. And uh, yeah, I actually accidentally left my texture pack on and I did that in a savannah biome and it looked absolutely beautiful. So uh, come and check this out. Oh, well, I think it looks in this texture pack as well. It just looks awesome, if I remember correctly. Um, so let's go and run over here. You know, we could probably fly in, couldn't we? Should we arrive in style? Let's arrive in style. So let's, let's get Charizard out. Oh, yeah. Block it, Charizard. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So let's go and check this out. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> New chunks. New chunks. Check this. Oh. <laughs> yes, there we go. Nice. So let's just land this bad boy. Uh, but yeah, I just think, oh, this is not a very good example of it, but it looks really awesome, I think, with the colors. Um, so, oh, God. Ooh. Typhlosion. That's what a magnemite sounds like. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're getting some frames here. Whoa. Yeah, this is all like brand new chunks, so it is jittering around a little bit. I'm not going to go in too deep here. I'm just going to literally grab some wood and then head back to the house. So... Yeah, really, really happy to finally find one of these things. And, of course, we get the sweet, sweet wood, which we are looking for. So the good thing about this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant it and sort of near my base. And then anyone that wants to help themselves to the wood, uh, more than welcome to. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just see. Let's, let's punch some things. Let's try and get a sapling or two. Oh, there's one straight off the bat. 
Na 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 na, so impatient. Give me all your saplings. No 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 no. So finally, with this, actually, we'll be able to get our. Oh, this is so terrible. I've left so much wood up there. It doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, we um. We'll be able to finish our two huts today, I think, and try and get the village looking a little bit nicer. That's kind of the plan anyway. I've got a few rough ideas as to what I want to do with it, so let's see if we can get any more saplings here. Uh, I think we got a couple, so yeah, there we go. We don't really need too many. Um, but yeah, this is the Savannah biome. It looks really, really awesome in this pack, I think. Uh, neither already know. Shinx, Shinx. Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, but okay, right. So let's head back to the base and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. And we are back. Ah, home sweet home. Look at Justin's house kind of loading in the background. Here comes Blocket HQ. Da, da, da. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's come and check this village out. Uh, I've done like a very small, I mean like literally tiny uh, bit of work on it sort of in between episodes. So I'll just show you roughly what I've done here. Um, let's go and check this out. So, I can actually get the two huts done. In case you missed last episode, it was kind of cool. We started uh, work on this Blocket uh, village, and the whole point of this is essentially we're going to try and sort of semi-colonize the villagers on the island, and as well as that, look into maybe some kind of villager breeding and all that jazz. Um, so, yeah, we, we hopefully we'll be able to do that. Hopefully. Uh, but if not, we just have a cool little village. But I'm thinking that the villagers that are on the island anyway will come and live here, probably. Uh, especially because, ooh, look at the doors. Ooh, villagers. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> right. The first thing which we had an issue with was the fountain. So I've literally just covered it up for now. Um, the problem we were having with it is basically Magikarp kept spawning in it. And when I mean spawning in it, I mean spawning a lot. Um, so I tried to fiddle about with that a little bit with sort of, you know, uh, putting down half slabs. I even tried carpet, someone's suggestion, but unfortunately that didn't really work. Um, just because of the, like, uh, how to put it, basically, uh, they, they kind of, the, the water just broke the carpet, so unfortunately I couldn't really do that, uh, which was a bit of a shame. I'm gonna need these. Um, but yeah, other than that, it worked pretty well, so let's, uh, let's go and plant some of these trees. Let's get our wood, uh, we'll, we'll plant them, like, here, and then the other guys can sort of just help themselves. Um, so we'll put one there. Oh, this is not your time. Oh god, what am I doing? Uh, earthquake. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've kind of put Fred up first, uh, our mighty ground on, because I kind of thought, yeah, we don't really use him too much, so it would be nice to kind of, you know, use him a little bit more often. Oh, Savannah in the the, the pixel cord island. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, and let's plant some other ones, these big sausages. Dun, 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 dun. Where should we put these guys? Let's put one here. Um, oh, come on, dude. Give me a break. I'm trying to plant some trees here, man. Uh, alright, let's go and stop up there. So let's go and plant this bad boy. And, oh my god, bone meal, bone meal! Oh, do I need, uh, do I need more? Is it, is it one of these bad boys? I've used all my bone meal up now. Uh, ah, alright, I'm gonna have to go and get some more. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna grow these trees and I'm gonna get sorted and then we will continue on with our little build. Okay, so we've cleaned up our inventory a little bit, we've stashed some stuff away, and uh, what we're going to do now is actually start work on uh, one of the other huts. So I think what I'll actually do is, uh, just in case anyone wants to kind of copy this in their own world or whatever, I'll just do like a little quick build to show you how to make it. I know it's not the most, um, you know, complicated thing in the world, but, you know, in terms of practicality, I think they're pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, let me show you what we are going to do here. So let's build... Oh, which one were we going to build? Um... We need like a super dark one there, I think. So let's build the like the, the dark, dark wood one. Um, so where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Dark oak wood, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna need to make some of these bad boys. And uh, we're also gonna need to make um, some slabs. So I can't remember how many we're gonna need. Let's just make that many for now. Uh, and we've also got a cobblestone. So uh, if we try and line this up as best we can, um, so that's the middle block there, that one. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna go, uh, is it there? Nope, it's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've just spotted a boss in the corner of my eye. Um, oh, cobblestone it. Is that seven? Yeah, okay, so that's gonna be the entrance. Let's go and fight this guy. Da -da -da -da. All right, uh, oh yeah, as well as like, you may notice in the floor, I've actually just put down a little bit of gravel just because I think it looks kind of cool. Um, oh God, we've really not got many moves we can do to take this guy out. Let's get, let's get Fred out. Oh my goodness, stop hitting me. God, you're so aggressive, man. What is this? We are peaceful people. Oh wow, all of that for an awakening. Wow. 
Cheers, buddy. I really appreciate that. Anyway, so we have our we have our entrance lined up properly. Ooh, we do. Uh, okay, so what we do to start off with is we need to make uh, the roof. So bloop, bump, bump, like so. I need to remember this actually. It's been about a little while since I did it. So we're going to stick one there like that. We're going to stick one uh, there like that. And then it goes... Does it go out again? It does, doesn't it? So it goes out and it's four blocks. So, oh God. One, two, three. Oh, we need some more dirt. Four. Uh, and then we go out again one block. One, two, three, four. And then we go... Do we go in a block? We go in a block each side like so. And I think the last bit of the thing is three blocks, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, do we go in again? I actually can't remember what we did. Oh, no, that's, that's fine, isn't it? One, two, three. Wait, wait, wait a second. What, what have I done? Hang on. Uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be showing you how to make this. Uh, it's not working, is it? That's right. So it goes one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, and then there's three at the back. Um let me, oh, where's my, oh, where's my pickaxe? Are you kidding me? Uh, hang on, one sec. Oh, yeah, I see what I did. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of dumb. Um, let me just fill this area back in. So, what we were supposed to do is, <laughs> essentially, we have four blocks here. So, we go um, one more into the side here. We have four blocks here into the side. And then, of course, we have the three at the back. What are you guys? Get out of here, dude. Would, would you, oh, Charizard is in the battle. Come on. Let me get rid of you. Get out of my house. <laughs> this is not your house. Hang on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, let's deal with this guy. Let's deal with this guy. Come on. There we go. Fantastic. Okie dokie. So we're going to build the uh, window frames out with cobblestone either side like so. And see, most of it is kind of like one of those half and half type things. Um, so we're going to stick one like that either side. We're going to stick one like that. Oh, God. Hang on. There we go. And then we're going to go over the top. There we go. So one, two, three, four. We're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Uh, and as well as I actually asked in the last episode which kind of wood, uh, glass you'd prefer, I think a lot of people generally, generally just went for the white glass. So I think we're probably going to stick with the white glass for now, to be honest. Uh, I do like the white glass a lot, uh, but it was kind of... Oh, what a sausage. It was kind of one of those things where it's like, uh, it could be, we could change it later on. But for now, I think, you know what, we'll go with majority rule and we'll go with the white glass. Um, but yeah, once again here, you're just going to build up with the uh, windowsills and just cobble it over a bit. We're actually going to have to put a little bit more. Oh, no, not that one. Man, I like this dark wood. It looks cool. It looks really nice, um, especially in this texture pack. Let's just um, put a bit more of this around. Okie dokies. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to go up on top of the roof. So let me just grab this. Boop, 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 boom. There we go. And then we need more of our cobblestone. So we're just going to fill in uh, the roof. Uh, we're just going to go like around the structure, if that makes sense. Not in the middle. Uh, like so. Across, across. Uh, one like that. Stick one like that. Da, da, da. There we go. Happy days. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our normal wood again. Now, if I remember correctly, what we do is we go through the middle like so. There we go. We put what to either side like so. And then we get our half slabs and we put one in the corner, one in the corner, one in the corner, one in the corner. And then there we go. Let's get rid of this. Oh, God. Happy days. And then we actually stick two of our bits in either side like that. We haven't done the flooring in there just yet, but that's just jungle wood. Uh, so it's not too bad. And yeah, there we go. So that is the basic structure of the little hut. So it's really, really simple. So if you want to copy it or whatever, that's how you do it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to build the uh, the final hut here, which will be the acacia wood. And uh, yeah, I'll try and actually jazz this up a little bit. I want to get some bushes and some lights and fences and stuff. So yeah, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. Aha, just in the middle of doing some bits and look who I see. Dun, 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 the golden machoke. Look at you, what a beast. Okay, so we are going to take this guy down. Golden boss, hopefully for something good here. Level 124, oh my jays. All right, let's hit you with some earthquakes. I'm hoping uh, Fred here will be able to do the damage. You're not going to be able to do the damage. Oh, no. Ah, and it's dead. <laughs> well, if in doubt, Jeremy. Actually, you know what, Chubba? Can you take this guy? Can you do this? Come on, you can do this with the team. That's terrible. Oh, my goodness. Uh, is it dead? Let's hit it with a heat wave. This is a crazy powerful move. Yes, nice. Chubba. What are we going to get? Ooh. In a sport ball? What the heck is that? 
That's cool. So that's a new ball for our collection, I think. I don't think we've got one of those. Two Joyce bands. Oh, why, why can't I just get a, a ranch upgrade block? You know, I've only ever had one. That kind of sucks. Ugh. All right, okay. So I'm going to carry on doing what I'm doing. I kind of thought that these acacia wood trees look really, really nice. So I was thinking about planting a few of these around here and just seeing what it looks like. Um, but yeah, uh, I haven't built another hut yet. So yeah, let me get on that. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, yeah, I've done a little bit on Block It Village. Not too much. But I really do want to spend quite a bit more time in this um, sort of in between next episode and next episode or whenever. Just to try and get it look really, really nice. Now, the problem that I've had, you know, I wanted to do more sort of design work on this thing today. But I've been having a super, super big problem with the, like, the, the water. And because the way that the village is centered, I can't have, like, a central column of water. It needs to be two. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit crooked and it's just... Just the OCDness uh, that's kind of kicking in. So I tried to build something very loosely. I tried to basically build like a little gazebo. Uh, and I don't know. So, oh god, hang on. Actually, it's a pretty good view from up here. Check that out. So this is what it looks like from above. It looks pretty damn cool, I think. Uh, what I've done is I've planted acacia trees around the edges. Uh, just because I absolutely love them. You know, the way that they're not like properly shaped. And, you know, they're just kind of... This, <laughs> I need to replant that one there. That one I left to make sure I knew where it was. But, um... Yeah, that needs to be replanted. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of what I've done. So I've finished the huts. We've got all the huts and I've put the wool on tops of them. Um, the more I look at the wool, the more I like it. Uh, it's one of those things you, f you first look at it and you're kind of like, nah. but then you actually, uh, you, you get to kind of like it. Um, so I've just kind of foliaged out the place with some bone meal. Now remember, of course, because we have been off the island a couple of times, we've got all of those new types of flowers, so we could really use them in this village to make it look really pretty. Um, so that could be cool. And uh, yeah, I've built this kind of gazebo thing in the middle, and I, there should probably be something inside it. So like, I could I can lay blocks up here, and I can either like put it could be like a little shrine, or it could just I don't really know what what it is. I I don't. I, I don't know, like the water just isn't going to work um, unless I can really figure out a way. But every time I do, and I've, I've been trying for like an hour and I keep getting Magikarp spawning in um, like all the time. So it's just driving me mental. I've been doing it for about an hour, which means I haven't really done too much on getting some nice little features in here. But yeah, I actually think that the village looks pretty cool. So we've got all of our six different wooden huts here. We are going to be expanding this and, uh, you know, moving into the different areas. We're going to have loads of new buildings. And, of course, with the villagers, we'll worry about the villagers in a little bit. Uh, but at least we can probably get a couple of them living here for now anyway. So we'll probably do that, like, next episode or something. Uh, but, yeah, I built this little gazebo. And we've got all the houses. And, uh, yeah, pretty damn good. So that's going to be about it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, just before you go, if you can remember to poke me in that like button, uh, please do that. And also, if you're not yet subscribed, ah, oh, come on, this is my outro what are you doing <laughs> but also if you're not yet subscribed go for it because we do minecraft done fun but until next time thank you once again for watching it's been such a pleasure as always thanks see ya